and he'll make sure to tell everyone about your Ewok eraser and your Ewok pajamas. We all know about the Kenner Star Wars action figure line released between 1978 and 1985. But did you know about the other vintage Star Wars line released in 1983 by Butterfly Originals? I bet you didn't. Well, maybe you did if you made a lot of mistakes in school like I did. That's right, we're going to talk about Star Wars action figure erasers. Put your eraser down, kids. We're going to get ready to erase. Now, I don't know about you, but as a kid growing up and going to school, there was one thing that made school fun. That was carrying Star Wars items to school. Now, sadly, teachers have always been boring goofs that never wanted you to have fun in school, so you couldn't bring your Star Wars action figures to class. Believe me, I did try to bring them to school. That's right, I would shove a Reeves in my pocket or stuff a clay to in my lunchbox. Now, before we look at the 1983 Star Wars Erasers, if you'd like to support this channel, head over to Patreon.com. There you can get exclusive content, videos early, and more. And best of all, you help support the channel. Or go to thatjunkman.com and buy a cool t-shirt like this one right here. Sorry we don't have erasers, just t-shirts, mugs, and some more very cool items. Now, let's get on with that. Let's talk about the erasers. Now, before you all go to the comments section to start typing about how these are not action figures. Okay, technically they're not action action figures, but they look like action figures, and when you couldn't bring your DIN card to school, this was the next best thing. One of the biggest problems I found anyway, of taking your Star Wars erasers to school, was always some idiot wanted to borrow your eraser, and guess what they wanted to do with it? No, they didn't want to recreate the Battle of Endor with it, they wanted to erase mistakes they made on their paper at school. Was there anything worse than when you brought your eraser to school and some know-it-all smart kid wanted to erase with it? I mean, that's once you erase one thing with it, that's it. Your eraser figure is ruined. You'll have a bit of a tuna with an indented head. Couldn't have that, so you had to keep them hidden inside your Star Wars pencil case just so no one would see them. And then during recess or whenever no one's around, you can unzip your Star Wars pencil bag and take a look at your Star Wars erasers, making sure they're still there and safe and not being used. Now, let's take a look at the Star Wars erasers. Sadly, these are only from the Return of the Jedi line. But let's start with the blackest of all black erasers, Darth Vader. Let's take a look. And here he is in the Emperor's throne room. Oh, look at it. It brings chills down my spine. Darth Vader, collectible eraser. Whew, that was one of my favorites. But that might be because it's probably the only main character that got made into an eraser. There was no Han Solo, Princess Leia, or Luke Skywalker eraser. Darth Vader was one of the only main characters made into an eraser. The other was a good guy. The Darth Vader of the good guys. You got it. Green Yoda. And here he is, the collectible Yoda eraser on the Return of the Jedi card. If you were sitting in class and wanted to dare it, you could bring out your Admiral Akbar to yell, A MISTAKE! And here it is, the Admiral Akbar eraser. Look at it. Doesn't it look just like the Admiral Akbar that we all remember from the Return of the Jedi? Oh, Admiral Akbar, how he should sit around class and dream of all the adventures he probably had, and how one day in the future, I probably could see his death slightly off screen in a Star Wars movie. And here's one of the most notorious bad guys in Return of the Jedi, the Emperor's Royal Guard. I know what you're asking. You're saying, Junk Man, how do they make a Royal Guard with no Emperor? Who did he guard? Well, for me, he guarded over my other erasers, just to make sure, again, no kid took one and tried to erase with it. You do that, you might have a one-ear Yoda, and nobody wants a one-ear Yoda. One of the most lovable droids in Star Wars is, without a doubt, R2-D2. And guess what? R2 was made into an eraser. Now, as a kid in 1983, one of the greatest things to see on the base screen was Jabba's Palace. When we saw Star Wars, that cantina scene blew our mind. But seeing all the aliens in the Jabba Palace was like watching the cantina scene on acid. So let's look at the erasers found in Jabba's Palace. And you can't have the Jabba's Palace while finding the slug of all slugs. Here he is, Jabba the Hutt Eraser. As you can see here, he's not really to scale with the other erasers. You'd think he would be a lot bigger than the other erasers, but nope, he's kind of smaller. If you're going to eat tuna, you better wear a bib. And if you're going to make a mistake, maybe you want to erase with your bib for tuna eraser. That's right, they made a bib for tuna eraser. So what's the most famous guard in all the Star Wars movies? 
That's an easy question right there. The only slobbering pig face in Star Wars. And he, or they, made it into an eraser. The Grimorian Guard Eraser. Now there's one thing you can always say about me. I didn't dig disco and I don't dig Jedi Rock. Back when I was a kid, when I watched Return of the Jedi, there were no CGI characters thrown into the film. It was all puppets, it all looked real, and it was all amazing. And the best member of the Max Rebo band was Max Rebo. And here's the Max Rebo Eraser. One thing about this card is, you got the rest of the band, so you could leave them on card. And you could have the whole entire band, and you wouldn't have to worry about anyone erasing with him because he's inside a plastic bubble. But we can't talk about racing mistakes without talking about Return of the Jedi's Ewoks. That's not a bash on Ewoks, I just didn't know what else to say. Yep, they made five different Ewok erasers. Five. Let's take a look at the most famous of them all. And here he is, Wicked the Ewok. Oh, isn't it cute? And it looks like he's coming out of his little hut. Oh, it's so cute. This is one you left deep inside your Star Wars pencil bag. You didn't want anyone to see that you brought a wicked eraser to school. And you really didn't want the two-time and little league champion John Gorman to see it. <sighs> Never live that down. And he'll make sure to tell everyone about your Ewok eraser and your Ewok pajamas. Now, before you cut off this video, because you don't want to see four other erasers about the Ewoks, well, I kind of lied. This one, they all group together. They have four Ewoks and one eraser, and they're cuter than Wicked. They're naked baby Ewok erasers. You don't believe me? Let's take a look. And here they are, the baby Ewoks. That's some frightening shit. The back of the package was pretty simple. Some legal information, the barcode right in the middle of the cardboard, and the logo and the Return of the Jedi logo at the top. They had barcodes on everything back then, but I don't remember stores having scanners back then. It seemed like they had to punch in the price of stuff. Maybe they did, maybe I just don't remember, but it seems like I didn't see scanners until at least the mid-80s or the late 80s. But who knows, maybe my Lionel's Play World was just behind in the times. Let's take a look at them loose. Ignore that Luke Skywalker right there, because he's not part of the Eraser series we're talking about, and I didn't want to airbrush him out. We have Admiral Akbar. Looks like someone tried to erase with his head. We've got the Royal Guard standing guard in the back. Darth Vader's got his arms folded in a huff. Biff Atuna looks like some kid chewed his face during class. R2-D2 looks like a bootleg figure from Amsterdam. And you got a really tall, wicked Ewok littering off in the space, and another one that's fallen over that had a heart attack or something. And you got Yoda looking like a green bump in a stump, and in the middle, there they are. The most terrifying erasers you've ever seen. They're gonna haunt your dreams tonight. The baby Ewok erasers. After you erase your answers on your arithmetic paper, scary just goes to scarier. And for those kids that did their homework in the dark, they made Star Wars glow-in-the-dark erasers. It was a three-pack. You got a Darth Vader head, a 3 po head, and a pink falcon. I never had this one, but that falcon would have been cool to have. And probably one of the coolest, oddest eraser sets came from the UK. Check this one out. It's four erasers that look like record albums. You have a yellow, a pink, a blue, and a standard black. Again, I know these technically aren't action figures, but for me, kind of, in a way, they were my action figures when I couldn't play with my action figures. And let's be honest, no one in their right mind would have erased with any of these. Anyway, tell me what you think about this video. Would you like to see more vintage Star Wars school supplies? Star Wars notebooks, maybe? Star Wars pencil sets? Who knows, we could look at a whole lot of stuff that we legally took to school back in the 80s when we loved Star Wars. I want to thank you for watching. As always, please thumb up my video if you like my content. Even if you don't like my content, go ahead and thumb it up anyway. It tickles. And please subscribe to the channel. And let me know in the comments below, did you have Star Wars erasers? And if you did, did you ever erase with them? I hope you didn't. Fred, I know you're not the type to use an eraser, so take us out of here. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.